Are you considering releasing your music with DistroKid, but you're not sure about how the payment side of things really works? Well, in this video, I'm gonna let you know. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And if you are looking to release, then DistroKid is one of my personal favorite online distribution platforms. For less than $20 per year, you can release an unlimited number of songs. If you'd like to sign up, there's an affiliate link down in the description where you can get 7% off your first year. But before you go ahead and do that, I get a lot of folks asking me, how does the payment side of things work? How do I actually make money? How long does it take? and how do I withdraw that money once I've actually earned it? So in this video, I'm going to be answering all of those questions. Let's jump in now. All right, first things first, DistroKid actually have a really great help article all about getting paid. That'll be linked down in the description. So please refer to that if you've got more detailed questions. But now let's jump into the most frequently asked questions about how to get paid for your music with DistroKid. Number one, how much of my money do I keep? Well, here's the good news. You keep 100%. So DistroKid don't take any of the actual money that you get. Now, keep in mind, if you make sales through some stores, the stores themselves will keep a percentage. So iTunes, for instance, will keep 30% and will pass 70% back to you as the artist. So keep that in mind that if you are making sales, you're not going to get that full amount. But all of the money that those stores send to DistroKid, they will pass directly back to you. The second most frequent question I get asked is, once I've made some money from my music, how do I actually withdraw that from DistroKid? And the simple answer to this is PayPal. PayPal is available pretty much everywhere in the world. And if you've got a PayPal account, you can enter your details. And at any time, you can withdraw any money you have in your account with DistroKid. There's no minimum amount. Now, keep in mind that there is a 2% processing fee. So if you've made $100, you're going to pay $2. And the maximum amount is is capped at $2 for the transaction fee if you're in the US and at $21 if you're outside of the US. So keep that in mind. There are other methods that you can use if you're in the US and some countries such as wire transfers, checks and e-checks and check the article link down below for more information on those. And the third most common question I get is how long will it take before I get paid? Now this one is a little bit more complicated because the different stores, so Spotify, Apple Music, Google, Amazon, have different operating models and rhythms. But on average, you're looking at between two to three months. And that's for the stores to send the data through to DistroKid and for that money to be available in your DistroKid bank. So why don't I jump in now and actually show you my account so you can see how this actually works. Okay, I'm here in DistroKid. I've gone into my bank and I've clicked on the show excruciating detail report. And this is what I've got here. We can scroll down and this is going to give me every single transaction. Whenever someone's bought or streamed a song, where they are in the world, what platform they're using, and I can get all of that data. Now, if you're a nerd like me and you want to get this data in more detail, you can click on this download button in the top right corner. And that is actually going to download a data file that you can bring into Google Sheets or you can bring into Excel and actually analyze this. But what I wanted to show you here is that if we go to the date section here and we go to April 2019 for the sale date, let's hit the display button. What you're going to see is it's the 25th of April right now. There's no data there. Let's do the same for March and hit display and we'll see the same thing. No data. What about February? We'll hit display there's no data. So this is showing that three month lag. However, if we go to January as our sale date and hit display, then here we go. We can see all of the information here about the different songs that have been streamed and that have been purchased, what platform they were, what part of the world they were bought or streamed in and how much I've actually earned from those. Now, if we change this to reporting date, then that is going to actually show us when it reported out because you'll notice here, we've got reporting month and sale month. So for all of these, it's saying sale month, January and reporting month, March. So again, two to three months is what you're looking at when you're starting to look at your payment data here in DistroKid. And finally, to show you just how easy it is to withdraw your cash from DistroKid, let's jump in and do a withdrawal from my account right now. So I'm here in the bank section. Once again, you can see that DistroKid owe me $28.43. So I did make a withdrawal about a month ago. So now you know about how much I make from my music every month here on DistroKid. So now let's show you how we can withdraw this money to my PayPal account. 
So we're here in the bank section, right up the top, we've got this big withdraw earnings button and it's as easy as clicking on this button to get started. So let's click on that one now. And there you can see, I've already got my PayPal information in here. So it's gonna tell me that the PayPal fee is $2 or $20 US, whichever is less, and will be deducted from the amount that I receive and that $10,000 will be split into separate transactions. I don't have to worry about that one. So let's click here to confirm the withdrawal. And now we get this little warning saying, withdrawing your earnings, are you sure? Allow one to 14 days for payment to occur. And once you push this button, this transaction cannot be canceled or changed. I'm cool with that, so let's hit okay. And that is done, it is as simple as that. And again, in one to 14 days, that payment will show up in PayPal. In my experience, it's usually between about three to four days before that will show up in my PayPal account. Your mileage may vary again, somewhere between one and 14 days. But that's just how simple it is to make money and withdraw money here in DistroKid. So there you go, hopefully that helps you understand how the payment system works in DistroKid. If you've got any other questions, please drop those down in the comments. There's two more videos linked down below all about DistroKid if you wanna learn more. And thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next video.